my wife is five months prego. I have a journal that I write in. It's private. <laughs> Shouldn't even really have to say that, I don't think. It's a journal. That's yeah. why it's not a book. Like, <laughs> I don't have any big secrets, but it's a private space for me to write out some thoughts and give me time. To th- you don't need to define a journal. A week ago, <laughs> I started to suspect that my wife was reading my journal. I wanted to be sure, so last night I wrote a fake thought that my wife was gaining too much weight in pregnancy and becoming unattractive. Oh. Well, today I went out to get groceries and came home to my wife crying. I asked her why, and she said she can't believe I thought she was overweight and unattractive. I asked her where she heard that, and she threw my journal at me. I asked her why she was reading my journal. She said that that's not the point. The problem is what I wrote. I told her the whole point was for me to catch her reading it, and now I know she does. She called me an asshole and said I need to apologize. She wanted me to leave the house, but I refused, so she is staying at her sister's now. AITA. I think we we can obviously both agree that like what the wife did is a boundary cross and a violation. Exactly. Okay. 100%. But can I bring you on board that this is a really bad thing? Like of all the things to test, this is a bad one to pick. He's in denial about what he was doing. What he thinks he's doing is testing yeah. her, what he's rationalizing and intellectualizing, but he's not. He's taking a shot. You think he shot. really thinks that? No. He wrote that to oh, hurt her. He's yeah, acting like he wrote so it to right. test her, but he wrote it to hurt her because she did hurt him. She did violate him, but he's not recognizing that this was malice. 